Hi everybody, welcome back to the Jewelry Spot. I've got a great fall project for you today. So keep on watching. Hi subscribers, hi anybody that's new, welcome. Come on in and join the family and subscribe. Today's project is two bracelets and also earrings. So I thought I would try some stacking of bracelets today. And my colors are fall tones, so I've got, I've got these pretty um, tiger's eye tiger eye chips in this brown and gold tones and I've got some hematite gold they come on a strand that looks like that and I thought those would be really really perfect uh, spacer beads so I've got those beads and I've got some more tiger eye beads and these are shiny Those are the things for my bracelet. I've got the oval memory wire. And for my stretchy bracelet, I'm using eight millimeter stretch magic. So this is pretty thick stretch cord. Okay, and those are the things I'm gonna use for my, for my bracelets and then for my earrings. Super excited because I think these are gonna be really pretty. I have my gold rings and then my ear wires. Got both, purchased both of those from Hobby Lobby. And then I've got some more beads. I thought that I would mix up some more neutral tones, gold tones for the fall, you know, fall time. And then I put mixed in some Dalmatian Jasper. I thought that would be neat for like a charm dangling at the bottom of the earrings. And then I've got just some just some charms that I thought would be pretty uh, dangling. So what I'm gonna do first is uh, work on my. I think I'm gonna work on my memory cord. I mean, I'm sorry, my memory wire bracelet first with my gemstone chips. We're gonna work on that first. Then I'm gonna work on my stretchy cord bracelet, then the earrings. Okay, I want this to wrap around about three full times. So I'm gonna cut off my memory wire about here. I'm gonna make my loop and then start adding my gemstone chips.
making my loop at the very end. You can see the little silver end there. And then I have my bracelet. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, I like it. Yeah, that's pretty. So this is the first layer and I'm gonna make a stretchy cord bracelet. Okay, this is um, the eight millimeter bead. Let's see, it's called Stretch Magic. I've got just a gem clip at the end here to help me from losing all the beads. Thought that was a little, or kind of a clever way to keep from losing all my beads. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this one and alternate with the uh, tiger eye and then the gold beads. Okay, so the cord is too thick for me to use my needle. So I'll just take the needle off. And I like kind of having the thicker cord because it just, it won't break, you know, it won't break easily or anything. So I've got the cord, I've got a bead on the end, and then the little gold piece. You can see what it looks like. I'm just going to alternate. So I've got that, and I'm going to alternate between that gold piece and the, a different size and type of uh, gold hematite. The other one that well, if this fits the cord, it looks like it will. Yeah, that fits. So it'll look like that. To make it nice and secure enough not too tight but not too loose either of course so now we're gonna okay, try to tighten this bad boy up and then we'll see what we have when we're done I'm gonna do this again and then get out my my cement my uh, jewelry jewelry cement
and I'm going to cut it after it's all dry. Okay, so I've got this um, glue, it's called the Ultimate Multi Surface Adhesive, and I got it from the jewelry section. So I'm going to put a dab of glue here. turn it over and I'm going to cut my um, magic cord I'm going to cut that at the end when it's all dry so I'm gonna put this to the side and now I've got my two bracelets just have to finish up the other one let, let the glue dry and now I'm gonna work on my earrings okay since this video has run a little long, I'm going to add a part two. The next one will be the earrings. Thank you so much for watching and watch the next one, part two, where I make the earrings. Till next time, bye-bye.